Glenn Danzig, a beast. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jim Chandler. I'm a professional singer. When I was learning how to sing, I used to just sing to these guys like all day long. And that, that's what helped me to figure out how to use my voice and how to get the most out of my voice. I have to tell you a story. When I was growing up in Ohio, late 80s, I saw him at a, a little, a small club called the Newport. And he was scary good. What a performer. I mean, like, it was like a beast. I got into him because a friend of mine was really into the doors. And with her first album, Danzig, came out. And like hearing the riffs on this. And then, like, I, I think one of my favorite songs of all time is Mother. Like, what a great, but he's got that really doorsy sound. There's a lot of things to unpack with Glenn Danzig. A lot of signature sounds. Yeah, yeah. Kind of blow with a twist of cane beside. Those lights keep changing the whole time. I don't know. I changed the setting on one of them and it just keeps going with. And obviously, it's by sound. So when I make different sounds, it's going to be going on. Okay, anyway. <laughs> and then he also is. Where we still came, you know, where you're going to have to learn how to do that. And that's what we'll get into. But those are just the kind of signature sounds. Now, the other funny part of the story was when I saw him, I was like, this guy's a beast. He's huge. Like if you see him, like he's, he's muscular. He got into bodybuilding and his muscles are like huge. Didn't know this at the time because there was no internet to look up or anything like that. You, now you can look up what I'm about to tell you, but when, when I saw this guy and he was like huge, this big, huge bodybuilder, scary dude, massive sideburns about as big as my leg. Later on, a, f a few years, not too many years, four years or five years, we were delivering flyers for my band up around the whiskey and I saw Glenn Danzig walking down. So there's a little bit of a slant coming down from the Roxy and I was here at the whiskey. So he was walking down the road, and I was walking. We were walking up towards the, the rocks. He was walking along, passing out flyers. And I saw Glenn Danzig come on. I'm like, holy shit, that's Glenn Danzig. And as I'm coming up, and Danzig, because I'm coming up the, the walkway, the sidewalk, and he's coming down. As we started to get closer, I'm like, Glenn Danzig. I was like, is that? I started questioning, is that Glenn Danzig? Because he was about this tall now you can look up and see he's five three but anyway let's get on to the album dan's going to listen to a few tracks and pick apart some of his signature moves let's get it on feel it you can hear that deep oh 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 high palate oh feel it show me as i break the Break the law. Send, send, yeah. It's that. Uh, yeah. You can hear in the back those. Yeah. Allowing a nasal flow to come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm pushing a bit more with my support to get that kind of volume and that fullness. That's all the difference. That's the difference. Like, yeah. 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 That's all the difference is to get that projection is just to use support a little bit more. Oh, like a crimson highway. Like a, like a, cri like a crimson highway. Like a, like a crimson highway. So he 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 has that just ability, like he's just so versatile with these sounds. He has a great deal of support. A lot of that comes with being physically fit and that that bodybuilding, not not necessarily bodybuilding to have that, but he's got good musculature of his upper body, which allows him to get very good support because you use the intercostal muscles around the ribs to really drive that support and allows him to get that. Oh, kind of blow. 
with the twist of the game inside the gobby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just a wide range, you know, because that's that good support that brings all that. Okay, let's move on. Not of this world. Listen to that. He can really pull back. It. Not of this world. Nothing can keep me from you. Nothing can keep me from you. I'm alive. Roy Orbison. They are, they're very often compared to a voice to um, uh, Morrison, uh, Roy Orbison. The Roy Orbison, I can see the Elvis and the Jim Morrison thing a little. The Roy Orbison one is a little weird. No one. Head voice, he falls out of with a, a good bit of vibrato. She rides. She rides. Very, uh, you know, oh. Uh. Oh. She rides. That that cry mode. And my loneliness and bonded she's black. From so how we get that is, let's just take, that's the same thing that Christina Aguilera used in that. Gonna get dirty! And what it would suggest is just take a really light approach to that to start. You make sure that that is above your true vocal folds. If you feel the need to cough after it, if it feels like dry, you feel the need to, <coughs> like, after. There, I know even then, I was a little bit into my true chords but try to start by like raising your larynx like do, swallow and my loneliness <laughs> but this video wouldn't be complete if i didn't do a little bit of mother mother, mother. you can hear that mother dark sound dude like very very jim morrison -y, i think my, my own opinion. mother mother whoa there's that gargly bit mother mother wow what a demon can you keep him in the dark for a while here's where he brings in that gargly bit that is just so like I feel like actually in Mother, he like pulls all of his signature moves into Mother. So, Mother! you can hear the onset, Mother, and the gargly, Mother, and the dynamics, Mother. Can you keep him in the dark for life? And you keep them in the dark of life. Oh, mother. Oh, mother. Not about to see your light. Not about to see your light. Wow. Oh, so versatile. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do somebody else. Rock your best focus where your best keeps getting better. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh,